afternoon and welcome to the Steel City of Pittsburgh, PA, where we're getting set for the lone meeting of the year between two teams going in opposite directions. It has been a historically good season for Tony Bennett's top-ranked Cavaliers, who will be aiming for a school record ninth straight ACC road win. They'll be doing it against a Pitt team that has experienced a historically bad season and is still looking for its first ACC win here in Game 17 for the Panthers. Jerome right out of the gates, little teardrop in the lane. He picks up where he left off. Here's Devin Hall on the far side left, dribbles into the paint, now puts the shot up with the right hand, hits off the front iron and good. So Virginia two for two to start this game. It's a four nothing lead. Jerome knifing his way in traffic. Nice pitch to Salt. Salt had the shot rejected, but gets it back and puts it right back up and in. So three trips, three field goals for the Cavaliers, who now lead it six to nothing. Puts up a little runner, another one this time from the right side of the lane, and he has the same result. Left or right, it doesn't matter. Virginia storms out to the 8-0 run. Here's Virginia. Devin Hall in the paint, feeds it out to Hunter on the left wing. Bounce pass left of the lane to Wilkins. Wilkins banging around, little jump hook off the lane, good. So Virginia gets back onto the board as the news had not scored for over two and a half minutes prior to that game. Wilkins, another head pick, another jump hook, and the same result. Back-to-back -back possessions, Isaiah Wilkins with field goals, and Virginia continues to stretch the lead. It's now 12-3, Virginia with the 12-3 lead early on. Johnson trying to beat it to Diakite, Will with eight to shoot. Vomiting, spinning, turning, fading, and firing his shot. Back iron, high into the air, and good. Wilson Frame passes it back to the right wing to Milligan. Now he gets it back on the left wing. He hosts up the three-point try, and finally Pittsburgh gets their first field goal of the game with 9.58 to play in the opening half. Nigel Johnson now for Virginia. He passes to the left wing. Jerome steps back and sticks the three-pointer from the left side. He was just as calm, cool, and collected as you could ever draw up. 17-7. Here's the pass to Hunter. Hunter top of the arc. Let's it fly, and he drills it. Just a couple steps inside of the arc. DeAndre Hunter is on the board for the first time today. Jerome on the hand leads. Being defended by Stewart. The bounce pass into the corner. Hall steps back, unloads, and splashes the three-pointer. Virginia has stretched the lead now 22-7. Brown now it's going to be a last-second desperation three from Milligan, and he can't get it to go, but an offensive rebound. Stevenson has it low, and now he has his pocket pick. It's soft this time who comes away with it. Bounce pass to Wilkins underneath. He beats the corner. Three-pointer on the way. Jerome rattles it through. Here's Diakite getting in the way to reject the shot. They've had three turnovers in that time as well. Here's Guy unloading on a three, and he catches in from the right wing. Kyle Guy's first points of this game, and Virginia now leads it 30-7 here in this opening half. Here's Guy on the other end. Virginia still searching for its first points here in the second half as Devin Hall attacks a head fake. Hands to Salt for the two-hand flush. Hall, Jerome, Salt, Wilkins, and Hunter. Hall's got it around midcourt. He passes to the right wing. Now driving inside. Jerome gets the shot to go with a foul as he attacks in the low block. Hall, a head fake from three on the left wing. Now beats Jerome. Jerome flicks the wrist. His three-point try wouldn't go, but Hunter inside uses the vertical leaping ability to tap it right back up and in. Towel around his shoulders. See if he comes back or not. Nigel Johnson splashes through the baseline jumper. One step inside of the arc. And good to see Nigel get a little bit of that shooting form back as Virginia has stretched it now to what is a 31-point advantage. Cavaliers going the other way. Ty Jerome, right, uh, feeds it right wing to Johnson. Now he kicks it out right side. DeAndre Hunter's shot rattles around and goes down. Had a big game against Louisville as Virginia was shorthanded. Here's Hunter pulling up, 15-footer, and he drills it on the right baseline. He is so good at squaring up and facing the defender. Here's Jerome feeding out to Johnson. Nigel Johnson knifing his way in traffic. Little floater goes from just inside the free throw line. He's defended by Carr, now feeds it to Hall. Hall slips the pass to the right wing, a head fake from DeAndre Hunter. He shovels out of traffic as he gets it out to Nigel Johnson. He fires as the shot clock expires and knocks it down from straight away on the three-pointer. Is in a position to avoid the dubious distinction of scoring the fewest points against Virginia in the shot clock era. Here's Hunter. He answers.
answers with a three-pointer from the right wing. DeAndre Hunter with 13 points now, and all of a sudden, both offenses starting to click. Spinning around the defense from Hunter, he's shot blocked by Mamadi Diakite. Right-hand dribble takes a step in on Davis, now to Marco Anthony on the right wing with nine to shoot. Anthony, left-hand dribble inside, uses the physicality to lay it in with a foul as he leads right into his man. Trayvon Gross out there along with Justice Barkley, Marco Anthony, Jay Huff, and now Austin Castro. Huff gets around his man and stuffs it down with a two-hand slam as he goes right by the freshman piece, Ellie Goma. That felt good. He's got a two-on-one going the other way. Bounce pass to Anthony. He can't get it, but there's Trayvon Gross to lay it in up close on the second effort. Domination from the start. The top-ranked Cavaliers look at the part of the top-ranked team here today. 66 to 37. Virginia has held a sixth opponent this season now under 30% shooting, complete defensive domination for the Wahoos here today in the Steel City of Pittsburgh, PA.